Welcome back to Dance Drill Basics. Today we're starting a brand new year, 2020. All right, we're gonna work on our lock. Check out the description below for the table of contents so you can skip to the drill that you want. Also towards the end of the video, we have the explanation, the breakdown, the step-by-step -step on how to do it properly. Four eight counts a lock. Drill number three. At 110 beats per minute. Six, here we go. Drill number four. Triple lock. At 90 beats per minute. Here we go, triple lock. Drill number five, triple lock at 100 beats per minute. Here we go. Hundred ten beats per minute. All right, welcome back guys. Now we're gonna do the step-by-step -step breakdown of the drills that we just did. So if you, if this is helpful, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get on with the tutorial, all right? So first thing we did was the muscle man to the lock. Breaking this out real simple. This move is called the muscle man. Why is it called the muscle man? Imagine when you're doing a pose, if you're a muscle man, if you're a bodybuilder, you're doing this pose, you're flexing. That's what it is, it's called the muscle man. Okay, I learned this one from Greg Camelot Jr. And when he taught the class, called it the muscle man. So that's how I'm gonna teach it to you. The muscle man, one. Now when he taught it, he said chest up, body's erect, like you're standing tall, okay? So it's not down here like this, your body erect like, you, like a soldier standing at attention, if you will, okay? So you're up on the one. One, and. On the end, he had us put our hands down, straight down from the shoulder here, down the side of the body. So now, now your elbows are nice and tight close to the body. So you have one and right on the two, this is this is this is called a lock, okay? And what you do is one of the knee, right now what I'm doing is I'm doing right right knee bend, okay? And the left knee is straight. You never want to bend both knees. I saw some tutorials out there that showing you, you know, bending both knees. If you want to do that, that's fine, but that's not the way I was taught from the original lockers. If you wanna, like I said, if you wanna do it 
however way you want, that's fine. I don't think there is a written rule, but when I learn from the originals, like Greg, uh, they never bend both knees. Anyways, this is me sharing with you guys, all right? So what I do is my left knee is nice and extended, right knee is bent, and your hip, the weight is sitting on one side, okay? So I don't just bend, if I just bend your, standing, if you watch me stand straight up, if I just bend the knees without dropping the weight, then you can see my body's just here, and it just looks like this. It doesn't look as funky as if you go like this, and then the hip sits in, shifts to the side. And then from the side, as it shifts to the side, chest leans forward a little bit. There's a little bit of bend, okay? So I'm gonna point to the side, watch this. You have one and two on the two. I'm taking away the arms. I just want you to focus on the hip and the leg. One and two. See the hips gotta sit in, okay? It's not just here or bending both knees. If I bend both knees, my hips gonna go straight down. That's not what I'm doing. Hips gonna sit to the side right there. Boom, got it? So here we go, one and. And notice on the end, my chest is still out. So it's not one and. I don't slouch on the end. One and. Right on the two, that's when I close it in. Boom, lean down. And what I do is here, I have my elbow. If my elbow was pointing back to the, the, the back of the room, what I want to do is have the elbow point to the side of the room, okay? So it looks like a less than sign, greater than sign, if you will, okay? And I wanna break the wrist. So it's not here, it's not like riding a motorcycle, okay? There's some other lockers that, that wanna do this, that's fine. If you like that style, go ahead and do that style. Nothing wrong, I'm not gonna hate on it, but I was taught to break the wrist right here. So you have here, boom, you break it, okay? So learn it how you will. So the first drill we did, that I did here, one and two, right here. Two, two. And then what I did is I switched side. Three and four, four. Now we gotta practice both sides, same thing. Now as the left knee goes out, shift, weight shift to the right side, okay? So that's our first three drills. One at 100, a one at 90 beats per minute, 100 beats per minute, and 110 beats per minute. Muscle man to the lock, okay? Very fundamental, very basic locking move, but very, very important to do it correctly and obviously do it to the beat, okay? So if you got this, go back to the, to the beginning of the video, check out the table of content, quickly takes you to the drill, drill number one, drill number two, drill number three. Do those drills daily and your lock's gonna look real good, I promise you. All right, guys. All right, guys, if you're sticking around with me, I appreciate that. We're gonna break down the triple lock, okay? This triple lock section, to me, really takes a lot of practice. Again, what's the triple lock? It's basically locking real fast. I'm going the one and two. You're, you're basically double timing it, and you do it three times in a row, okay? So, it looks like this. Ah, ah, ah. I'm locking real fast. I go one and two. So what I'm doing is, it's not one and two, it's one and two. Right after I hit the, hit the lock, I gotta straighten up. What do I mean by straighten up? Well, if you look at me right here, right on my lock, you see how the hip is shifted. I go one, coming back straight, and two. So in between the one and, I gotta get up. So it's, it's pretty fast, so we're gonna work on that first, before we do the arms, all right? So it's one and two. So work on the hip, work on your leg, work on your knee, work on your weight shift first, okay? We're gonna tackle the right side first. I'm gonna bend the right knee, which means my, my hip is gonna shift to the left side. Seven, eight, one and two. You see how immediately I go one, I gotta come, come right back. Just like a ball, like a basketball, right when you hit the ground, it's gotta come right back up, just like here, just like the knee. Right when I hit it, I gotta come right back. I can't, I don't have time to stay here. One and two. Make sense? Six, seven, eight. One and two. So you start out slow. Do it with the 90 beats per minute. 
then the 100, then the 110. Make sense? I'm going to go to the left side. 7, 8, 1, and 2. Okay? So like I said, this is a step-by-step. You want to make sure the hip is down good. If this is not good yet, don't worry about the arms yet. All right? We have 1 and 2. You have to make sure you come back to here. If you go 1 and you don't come back all the way, it's going to look like this. It's going to go 1 and 2. You're going to be down here. And it's, look, it's gonna look like you're trying, but it's just not there. You gotta come back all the way. One and two. Got it? Okay, now the arms, same thing. One and two. The biggest pitfall when people are doing the triple lock, double lock, whatever that shows the speed of their lock is that the elbow don't come all the way back. So what I see a lot of people trying to, you know, do the quick lock, they go, they stay out here and it becomes like this, like a like a chicken flapping the wing. This is not what it is. You got to be able to bring your arms straight down here. It's one and two versus one and two. You guys see the difference? It's not out here going, I'm not going this. I'm not doing this. I'm going arms straight, arms straight. One and two. So when I did it that way, hopefully you guys see that, right? So it's one and two. Immediately I got one, got to put it down, one, and two, one, and two. Make sense? So we're gonna put that together. The arms, the legs, the hip, and the waist angle. Put that together. I'm gonna go slow. Seven, eight, one, and two. A little bit faster. Seven, eight, one, and two. And in our drill, one, and two, and I held it. So in the drill, it goes like this. One, and two, hold seven, eight. And I come up on and one and two, seven, eight, and da, da, da. So here's the thing. You got to get up to here before you can actually hold your lock. Because if you're down here already, you're already at the lock. You're not going to hit that lock. Does that make sense? You got to get up. So seven, eight, one, and two, seven, eight, and da, 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 seven, eight, ah, da, da, da. So in our drill, we went one and two. Three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, and one, and two, three, four, and five, and six. So notice the end. You got to get up on the end. All right. Hopefully that's helpful. Go back. Use the table of content. Go back to drill number four, five, and six. Get your love, double, uh, your triple lock down, and then you can later on we can work on multiple locks where you guys see great lockers from all over the world. QTM Bosch comes to mind. These guys, they got their, their locking so fast. The Gogo Brothers, uh, so many, so many great uh, uh, lockers all over the world doing that fast, fast lock. You can do, but you gotta put in the work. You gotta, you gotta put in the, uh, the speed drill, these speed drill. In this video, we went up to 110 beats per minute. So some of those guys, they go up to maybe 130, some of the faster songs. You could do that too if you put in the work. All right, guys, have a great rest of the day. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely share with those that can benefit from it. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.